Hello and welcome to this week's European Circle Report. Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel is tackling the issue of future power supply. Merkel reviewed the progress and the state of development of renewable energies on a journey through Germany. She stated that renewables were indispensable these days and that the federal government was aiming at reaching this era as fast as possible. Clean, reliable and affordable. These are requirements which have to be focal points of a future-oriented energy policy. Initially, Merkel dealt with wind power. She was informed about the current technological development and the opportunities of export of the wind energy industry in the wind park Ravensberg Krempin in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. During her visit to an energy company, the Chancellor talked about her ideas. We müssen die Voraussetzungen dafür schaffen. We have to create an environment where the technology of wind power stations can develop further. We need to ensure that these wind power stations can be operated onshore as well as offshore. Also, the energy needs to be transported to German industrial areas where it is needed. Until the year 2020, 20% 20 of Germany's total energy consumption shall be produced from renewable energies. However, Merkel clarified that nucle nuclear power and carbon-based power are still needed as so-called bridging technologies. For how long, she did not specify. Still, Merkel sees renewables as an economic potential for Germany. As an exporting nation, we need new fields in which we are among the world's best. This led to conflicts between the federal government and nuclear power companies. The energy companies criticized the environmental policies of the coalition. Mainly, they do not want to pay extra fees to support the development of renewable energies. However, while visiting the nuclear power plant Lindgen, Merkel insisted that energy supplies will have to make payments for renewable energies. The German Minister for Environment, Norbert Röttgen, who accompanied the Chancellor on her journey, supported Merkel's statements. In a political talk show on TV, Röttgen attacked the oligopoly of the heads of German energy industry. His words led to new discrepancies in the federal government as the deadline for shutting down nuclear power plants shall be extended. Additional payments of the energy industry are disputed within the coalition too. The Minister of Finance, Wolfgang Schäuble, wants the money as part of the budget. Economics Minister Brüderle opposes the extra payments in general. By the end of the year, Germany's banking institutions shall be prepared for future crises on the financial market with a so-called reconstructuring law. The draft law was passed by the cabinet last week. It aims at ensuring a controlled handling of banking institutions which face bank bankruptcy. Schäuble stated that the government wanted to encourage the European debate so that other countries consider the new law as a model for themselves. In the future, German banks are supposed to pay a part of their profits into a fund. Thus, tax players do not have to bear as many costs in future crises. Banking institutions have to bear costs which might arise through struggling banks and at the same time shall prevent bankruptcies. The opposition is against the draft law. They criticize that it only de deals with banks while not targeting hedge funds and insurance companies, which were hit by the crisis as well. This has been this week's European Circle Report. I hope you will be watching again next week.